AdGuard messaged and said, Hey, do you guys want to make a video about our stuff? We got some sponsorship. You want to do that? And I was like, Hmm, I already used their service. I wonder if it would be a conflict of interest for me to talk about the thing I already used. Sure, let's do this video. Now, guys, I've been using AdGuard for a while, and I think the biggest competitor when it comes to ad blockers is probably uBlock. I think most people who are in our audience have moved away from just a standard ad block, especially when ad block started doing some, some weird things like taking money to allow other ads onto their service. So we've moved away from those and we've got uBlock and we've got AdGuard. Now AdGuard does something a little different. If you're just using the ad blocker, you can almost get by. They do very similar things and the latency or whatever is about the same on all the different websites. But AdGuard is something I've been using because it does a lot more. There's a desktop app and there's also an Android app. Now Google, they don't like when ads get blocked. So they removed it from the Play Store in 2014, but you can still get the APK. Uh, you can just go to their website and download it and put it on your phone. And so we'll start off with that and then we'll show you the desktop app. You, you guys want to stick around for the desktop app because it'll do things like protect your privacy, hide your cookies and hide your IP from all these different websites, hide your search history from Google. There's a lot more uh, going on with AdGuard than just, you know, like blocking ads that show up on the website. It, it works on operating system, programs, games, everything. So. First off, we've got the Android app right here. All right, so there, here's the app. When you first install it, this is what you're going to get, and it'll just show you what you're going to do. So, uh, would you like to protect your privacy? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, social media widgets on websites, those can be annoying, so you can either do that or yes or no. Um, I kind of like the sharing widgets sometimes, but some of them follow you around, so I'm going to keep them. Uh, malware and phishing, that's another thing that this does that a lot of the other ones don't. Some people worry like everything's going to be filtered through this, so it's going to slow down. Well, actually, it's going to speed up your connections because of all the bandwidth that's going to be sucked up from all the ads. Now you can block stuff in, in the uh, different apps and stuff, but in order to do that, you need to go ahead and get the account, which you really should. License is valid until the end of time. That's what you want. So I'm gonna go home here to show you around just a little bit. So you've got your apps management here. So you can come here and go through your apps and uh, just get rid of the ones that are, you know, or tell it, hey, block ads on this, or whatever. So we've got your DNS settings here. You can actually run everything through their own DNS server. Turn that on. So you see we can filter um, for spyware. There's the social media filter I have turned off right now. Annoyances filter is interesting. So like when you get all those stupid cookie notices and all that sort of stuff, you can block all that. Hey, you get out of here. So now they have something called useful ads. And I'll show you that on the desktop in just a second. But you can turn off and on the useful ads. Then we've got all the different language packs. All right, so you guys can see everything that's here. Just lots and lots of different options. And see the settings here. And blocker, browser security. And now you guys can also turn on HTTPS filtering. So this is gonna really help. I'm gonna turn that on as well. I recommend that you always do that. Okay, add a certificate for that. So yeah, turn that on. That'll really help the filter work. More settings. Uh, there's your whitelist. Make sure Tech Syndicate is on there. We don't really have that many ads anyway. And uh, you got your proxy settings and stuff. You can use this, the proxy here. Send all the traffic through there. Just helps them improve. I mean, they do most of this themselves. All right, let's take a look at the desktop app. That'll give you that gives you an idea of how the Android app works. All right, so here's the desktop version of the app. So stealth mode something I really like. It just basically keeps them from tracking your data. All right, so when you get the uh, desktop version of the app, check this out. First off it'll automatically block things on all of these different browsers so you don't have to log in manually to each one. Now I also recommend if you're using like Chrome or something, go ahead and install it. Uh, if, you, if you install it in Chrome, you can just very easily say you're on uh, Tech Syndicate or something. On Tech Syndicate, you can just go over here and turn off and on the ad blocking. Keep it off guys, yeah. Don't really have that many ads on there anyway, but thanks very much for keeping it off. But on websites you really use, I believe as a content creator, um, as long as their ads are not obnoxious or obtrusive, you should go ahead and uh, unblock their ads so that they can eat. But otherwise, if they're obnoxious and there's malware and phishing, you want to make sure that you're protected. All right, they also have uh, browsing security. It protects from um, phishing and all that sort of thing. So you can turn that on if you like. Stealth mode, it uh, basically secures your personal data. Your data, what am I, where am I from? Now, uh, stealth mode, it secures your data, like your IP address and just cookies and all that sort of thing. Here's your ad blocker. You can set it up to do whatever you like. Uh, do not block useful ads. Now, useful ads are, they've got a little example here. Useful ads are stuff like this, like you search for toaster 
And there's a couple ads at the top that are like, here's some interesting toasters. Those may be useful because they're direct responses to what you need. Um, and ads on like Amazon, useful ads like ads for things while you're on Amazon. So self-promotion is allowed with that turned on, but you can turn that off if you want to. If you want to see like no ads, you want to have no influence, you want to just exactly look for certain things, which is kind of the way I am, you can go ahead and turn that on. Now here's one other thing that's really cool. Filtered apps, I forgot to mention. So you get all these things here, right? Now let's say you have a game that has a lot of uh, ads in the game. Well, that can suck up a lot of bandwidth. Uh, I mean, hell, even stuff that happens inside your OS can suck up a lot of bandwidth. You can come over here and add an application. You can browse for the executable and then say any of the ads that are coming through this, just get rid of them. Now, that can really help a lot. And just getting rid of the ads in Skype helps a lot. Um, so just make sure you turn all that stuff on and really use this program. Now, if you're paying for like the, I guess the, the there's two different tiers. If you're on the top tier, you also are gonna have your uh, parental controls. And that's not something I need, but I can see how that's gonna be important to a lot of people out there. So check out the parental controls. And then we have uh, network settings here. Now by default, it's gonna filter all network traffic. They use their own algorithms to, to figure out what's spyware, what's garbage, what's just malware or ads. So I leave that on, filters all the traffic, and even though it's going through there, it's gonna speed things up a little bit uh, because it's filtering out so much junk on the internet. You're actually gonna cut down your bandwidth usage uh, quite a bit, maybe even in half, because some websites just have so many ads that just eat up a lot, uh, a lot of resources and a lot of bandwidth. So go ahead and keep that on. And then you can also use it as a proxy if you like, if you're an advanced user and want to set that up. I always filter a HTTPS protocol, use that. And then the other options here, you guys can go through if you're more advanced and mess with these yourself. Now, after you get everything all set up and you want to go to your other computers and that sort of thing, you can get a license that allows you to use this on multiple computers. Uh, one thing that's really cool is you can export your settings and then take them over to the other computer. So after you're done, hit export. It saves an ad guard file that you can import with another installation of this on another desktop, laptop, whatever. So all that's going to work together to give you just like a better experience while you're browsing. Um, and again, remember to unblock the websites that you want to support and the you know different services you want to support but really this is something that we need nowadays to protect our privacy to speed up our uh, you know internet keep us away from malware um, and just make our experience on the entire computer much better and with the program the one that i've been using being able to block it in all these different apps is something that once you start using this it's like leaving tv if you've been, if you're someone who's cut the cord and you're at a bar or something and you see a commercial on tv it's like berating. It's like this, what is that thing? Oh God, that's something I used to be subjected to. That's what it's like when you go back to using the internet without a service like AdGuard. It's like, oh God, what is all this stuff hitting me in the face? Get it off me. So go ahead and grab AdGuard 6.2. That's the newest one. You guys can grab whatever's the newest out right now. And for the Android app, remember you have to go to their website. Just manually go to their website on your, on your phone. And then right down here, you'll be able to click and download the AdGuard app. Now, one other thing I want to mention if you guys are like worried about me shilling and stuff, go over to trustpilot.com and just check out the reviews from regular people. It has a five-star rating. So I really didn't have any qualms at all when they were like, hey, we want to sponsor a video. It's like, I already use it. Reviews are good. Um, and the only reason we're really making this video is to show you some of the new features maybe you're not even using or to let you know that, yeah, you guys should go ahead and grab the lifetime I would, I would grab the lifetime one because it just makes more sense to pay once and just be licensed till the end of time so that's my opinion but you guys can do whatever you want so go ahead and grab a t-shirt in the store also guys we have a new mouse out this is the Fenix swift uh, be sure to check that action out 3360 base sensor ergonomic right-handed design and i don't think i've ever gotten as many headshots and i'm not even that good of a shot but uh, check that out all right we'll see you guys in the comments